Now, as I did this work, I was very much struck by a distinction that I hadn't previously held on to, which was the distinction between love and acceptance. Love is something that ideally is there from the minute a child is born. And although we all hear terrible stories of abuse and neglect, I believe that most parents love their children. But acceptance is a process, and it takes time. And it always takes time. It takes time even if your child isn't autistic or schizophrenic or a dwarf or gay or deaf. It's always a process because I've yet to meet any parent who doesn't sometimes look at his or her child and think, what planet did you descend from? <laughs> and so I became very interested in, um, in those processes. And acceptance has to operate really at three levels. There's self-acceptance, there's acceptance by your family, and there's acceptance by the larger society. But I was very interested in family acceptance because I think everything else is mediated through family acceptance. And I found that there were three kinds of um, parents, or three stages for parents who are going through having a child who is different. There was the stage of being outraged and furious when they found out about their child's difference. There was a period in which they grew toward acceptance. And frequently, they then made it to celebration in the end. And I'd like to say it's a linear pattern, and that if you start in one place, you always go automatically on to the other. But parents who had arrived at acceptance and even celebration would then have a medical setback or encounter social prejudice, and it would all be turned around all over again.